us go through the absorption process absorption of fatty acids and droplets under the action under the action of by salts so here I write absorption absorption of fatty acids and glycerol fatty acids in glycerol so what happened here first of all fats convert into fatty acids and plus triglycerol tri glycerol and after this this triglycerol is converted into tri glycerol convert into diglycerol glycerol and then this diglycerol is then convert into mono or simply glycerol mono glycerol simple. or simple we can discuss glycerol so this digestion process is carried out in the duodenum under the action of lipase pancreatic lipase pancreatic lipase the pancreatic lipase act on the fat, fats smaller fat droplets and convert into fatty acids and glycerol triglycerol then this triglycerol again under the action of pancreatic lipase convert into diglycerol then this diglycerol is converted into glycerol when the complete complete digestion of fat, fats droplets occur in the duodenum the here the process of absorption will start So here starts the process of absorption. I will make here the duodenum. And here the coming the pancreatic two things. For example, these are the fair droplets. they convert into fatty acids for example these are the fatty acids and glycerol under the action of pancreatic lipase and here act the bile My acids. So this is the whole step. These are the fats, smaller fat droplets, and this is fatty acid and glycerol. So what happened here? Into the wall of small intestine in the wall of small intestine as we know that they are brushed border with the help of smaller <coughs> microvilli for example I made a single cell here these are the microvilli 
एंड द होल बॉडी इज विलाई दीज आर द माइक्रो विलाई एंड दिज इज द विलाई सो ड्यू टू द प्रेसेंस ऑफ द माइक्रो विलाई द लाइनिंग ऑफ द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन इज ब्रेस्ट बॉर्डर सो वी कैन से दैट हियर इज ब्रेस्ट लाइक बॉर्डर दिज आर द माइक्रो विलाई here so what happened after the digestion of fatty acids in glycerol they cannot directly absorbed passively to the villi so before the absorption these smaller droplets the fatty acid and glycerol they are covered by enzymes oh, sorry they are covered by bile sacs so how they cover them this is hydrophobic so they cannot easily get into into the villi so they are converted by covering smaller droplets or little little granules of bile salts are the hydrophobic hydrophilic and are the bile salts they are hydrophilic so now they are completely covered in the droplet when this process occur so a structure formed now this structure we called as mesilus this is what we call mesilus the mesilus is nothing but it is a fatty acid or glycerol droplets molecules which are surrounded by bile salts so they can easily pass through the membrane of this microvilli whenever it reach into the microvilli example i need suppose it reach over here and these are covered by smaller by acids by bile salts this mesilus get enter into the microvilli after the entry of mesilus into the microvilli another process occur that the golgi operators of this system that is villi they start covering these mesilus by protein layer so now they become a uh, glyco lipoprotein it convert into lipoprotein it enters here and here now it convert into mesilus this is further can covered by protein layer suppose this is the protein layer once it covered by a protein layer now it is called a chylomicron this now called as chylomicron chylo micron and the color of this chylomicron is milky apparent so it is milky in color milky in color so this chylomicron then absorbed by the lactules so as we know that our small intestine containing microvilli and villi 
and in these villi's there are smaller lymphatic systems smaller lymphatic vessels for the absorption of the chylomicron for the absorption of glycerol and fatty acids there is a structure and that structure is called as lectule this is what we called lectule and this is a lymphatic vessel Lectule that is lymphatic vessel. Lymphatic vessel. So after the formation of mesilis, mesilis under the process of endocytosis enter into the microvilli and move toward the body of villi and once it reach into the body it covered by the protein layer and convert into chylomicron and this is chylomicron has milky appearance when it's formed it's enter into the lectio here it get entered this is the protein layer and these are the bile cells, bile cells. Once it enter into the lectule, then it move to the lymphatic system. When this uh, chylomicron enter into the lectule, the lectule starts giving a color or it looks like a milky milky in color the milky color of this lectule this lymphatic vessel is due to the color of chylomicron so if we uh, examine under the microscope we can say we are able to say say, say that the color of this uh, lectule is due to the color of chylomicrons whenever it enter or completely absorbed by the lectules they are then move to the lymphatic system and from the lymphatic system it's entered into the venous system and after the venous system through the herd it will enter into the systemic circulation and this systemic circulation will take these smaller droplets to the places where it is needed or it may store in the liver so hold this thing about the absorption of fatty acids and droplets fatty acids and glycerol droplets so hope you understand